my boxy charm for February came fully loaded on incredible products for skin prep before your makeup. With that being said, I will leave any link um, to boxy charm down below. It is an affiliate link. It is my affiliate link. If you use that link, it is an affiliate link for me directly. So if you do decide to get boxy charm, I would really appreciate if you use my link. All right, guys. Without further ado, I'm going to leave you with the video. But you already know what I'm going to tell you. Yes. If you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so right now. Click on that subscribe button and right next to that subscribe button, there's a bell. That bell means you want YouTube to notify you when I upload a new video. So that way you don't miss any of my videos because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. And of course, those thumbs up help me so, so, so much. And of course, those love notes. You already know how I feel about those love notes, so leave them in the comments. And without further ado, enjoy the video. I love you guys so much. Until next time. Cleanse my skin very well, but before makeup, it's always good. 
to make sure that it is good. Super duper dry. 
Skin to skin. 
every single part of your lid to make sure that you have an even application.
doesn't have to be a MAC brush, just something that is like dense down here but fluffy at the end. And I am going to blend that with Retro, which is that uh, beautiful, rosy, corally color. Beautiful color. Well, I'll tell you that this palette is very dusty. As much as I love Urban Decay, I'm noticing that this palette is very, very dusty. Okay, there's not a lot of fallout though, but it is very dusty. So, I'm going to blend lightly. Okay, grab your brushes in the end. When you grab your brushes in the end, you're softening the application. The closer you get to the brush, the harder the application. So, remember to uh, soft for softer applications, try to use the Called the brush in the end, okay? So I'm going to blend that. just a blur <laughs> for 
done with the rest of my face as you see me doing here because I haven't applied my um, concealer or anything I mean I'm gonna apply some right now but I'll reapply some when I'm done but I'm gonna wanna like really highlight that inner corner I'm also gonna take the same color the same brush and I'm going to apply that on the very um, end of the last shadow I applied. I still haven't done my eyebrows, so I may lose a little bit of this when I do them, but it's alright. Now I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. This is like my E40, a big fluffy, it's very fluffy throughout the whole thing. And I'm just going to very lightly, again, holding the brush from the very end, very lightly blend that those top colors together. Very lightly. Just so I don't have any, like, major harsh lines. The rest of my face, and then I'll come back to my um, eyes. Am I doing long? Definitely 
a matte foundation, but if you prep your skin correctly, if you have dry skin like me, it's a beautiful finish. It is very nice. I like it a lot. It is it is absolutely very dry and for my liking, but I like the finish. So what I do, like I've said before, and I continue to say, I'll just prep my skin accordingly. Moving with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in 1.0. 1.0. with 
sure that 
month of your birthday and um, this was in the box that I got for my birthday I like it this was the first time I'm using this and I, I like it it's pretty easy to use I think um, one of you left me a comment I can't remember your name
already know how I feel about those lower lashes. I like to smack that um, mascara on my lower lashes. I like a lot of it. I like to pack it on the pack it, pack it, pack it, pack it, pack it, pack it. Yes, just like that. Just like that. Um, I like to pack it, pack it.